over today uh, against Busanan Ongbangarangpan from Thailand. The other match, uh, Tunjun against Tan Yue, that's yet to take place. Carolina Marin, she's been three times a world champion. 2014, when the event was last staged here in Port Copenhagen, then in 15 a year later, and then in 18 as well. And she is looking in great form as well, the left-hander from Spain. So the women's singles, which started with the winners from the last eight world championships, five different players. And uh, this match, Tai Su Ying against Pong Pui Cho Chuang, I think is a fascinating prospect. Pong Pui Cho Chuang won the Swiss Open earlier this year. She's had fluctuating fortunes, I think this year but she is always a dangerous player the opponent from chinese taipei tai su ying the former world number one just been introduced to the fans here she comes tai su ying 29 years of age now the former world number one three times winner of the All England, twice Asian champion, winner of the Asian Games gold medal, Olympic silver. And at one stage in her career, was quite dominant in the women's singles game. Uh, but now a member of what we've uh, now called the Fab Four the top four women singles players in the world. And Tai Su Ying, Dr. Tai Su Ying, hugely popular all over the world. Looking to reach her eighth quarterfinal in her eighth world championship. That is remarkable consistency if she manages to do it. Well, her opponent of today has beaten her in the past. Uh, this is the fifth meeting between these two players. And Tai Su Ying leads the head-to-head 3-1. -head but the last Four time uh, they the met was rest. in the World Tour Finals okay, of 2020 in the group stage. It was actually played in January black. 2021 in this Bangkok. Side. You receive. Have a good match. Uh, so, Pong Pui has won the toss of the coin and has chosen ends. So it is some considerable time since these two players met each other. But when you've had a victory, the last time that you've met your opponent, that certainly instills confidence. Pompawi Chochuang, 25 years of age from Rayong on the east coast of the Gulf of Thailand, has just dropped out of the top 10. Uh, but she did spend a total of four weeks across two different spells at her career high of eight. 170, that's five foot seven. And she, uh, like all seeds in all disciplines, apart from the men's singles, had a bye in the first round. Juliana Vieira of Brazil in her first match, which was the second round. She actually came from 15-18 down, saved three game points in that opening game against the Brazilian. A more comfortable second game, as you can see. Tai Su Ying, the number four seed, a former world number one, as I was telling you. Uh, she was world number one for a staggering 214 weeks across seven different spells. Well, she is one of the most delightful players to watch. Her repertoire of shots, I think, is probably second to none. Her first match was against uh, Lena Christofferson, 21-16, 21-13. Had to come from behind in that opening game, uh, but won in 35 minutes. Three finals from eight tournaments so far this year for Tai Su Ying, winning the Babington Asia Championships and for a fifth time,
Her home event, the Chinese Taipei Open, became the first woman ever to win the same tournament to five play. times since the inception of the Super Series and now World Tour era. What a remarkable record that is for Tai Su Yin. So our court officials, Artur Sonoichnoi from Estonia, our service judge from Belgium. Always plays with such great sportsmanship, Tai Sun Ying. And that, I think, is a large part of why she is so popular globally with all the badminton fans. Ladies and gentlemen, on the right, Born Pavi Chochewong, Thailand. And on my left, Tai Zhu Ying, Chinese Taipei. Born Pavi Chochewong to surf. Lowo, play. So the number 11 seed, Born Pavi Chochewong of Thailand, getting this match underway against the number four seed, Tai Su Ying. Dean, I said in my introduction there that her repertoire of shots, Tai Su Ying, uh, is probably second to none. Is, do you think that's fair comment? Yeah, I think it is. I don't, I don't think we can come up with a shot that is doable um, that she can't do. Yeah. by much, I think. Another one right into the corner. Three, love. What a very good start by Cho Chu Wong. Service over. One, three. What about Pompei Chochi Wong then, Esteem? Because uh, she's like, uh, I think, her compatriot who, who won the 2013 World Championships, uh, Rachna Kintanon, has got beautiful shots as well, but she doesn't quite have the same deception or disguise as her opponent. Well, she, she, she's got really, really good shots, but it's like, I, I would describe her as a delicate player, uh, where sometimes, oh, that's better, but sometimes I would like to see it combined with brutal force or um, efficiency. Four, two. Great technical skills, good reach, you could say a little bit Tai Su Ying light, but with a bigger reach. Yeah. Nice shot. I think once many years ago we, we discussed this situation that Ty at some Three, times four. goes on a walkabout where yes. points fall uh, fall out of her hands. And, and, and I think it's because, I mean, when, when you have that playing style, when you really enjoy badminton and, and uh, you've got such great technical skills, you want to win beautiful points. Four. But, but the thing is, the easy points, they count just as much. And I think we have a little bit of the same with her opponent of today, Pompei Chuchun Wong. Sometimes the easy points, 
uh, are, are the ones that you should go for. Oh, that's well lined. Service over. Five. Four. Yeah, I told you there was a lot of Tai Suying fans all over the world. Hugely popular. And here they are in Copenhagen. Oh, there you go. Yeah. That is a prime example Service of over. what we've been talking about. Five, she has this oh. disguise and deception. Hold and flick. And Pompawi Chochuan just left absolutely stranded. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what the audience loves to see because not many players have that ability. Exactly. Now that was put Five. away efficiently by it was. Tai Su Ying. And if we're right in the um, assumption that the shuttles have become a little bit faster, making the playing conditions a little bit faster here because there is drift in the arena, then it's moved. The, the overall so playing conditions have moved in a direction Six. that suits oh. Tai better than what we saw in the first couple of days. Yeah, that's a beautiful placement. Oh! Service over. Seven, six. What a beauty again. Reverse, straight Eight, slice. Six. Big high serve. Yeah. There's a challenge Tai-Zu here from Tai Su Ying. in. Well, my initial reaction was to agree with Tai. Well, she, I don't uh, recall her sort of making that many challenges. No. She usually just accepts. So I think that on that premise, uh, I think she's probably right. Here we go. Indeed, she is right. Correction out. Nine, six, play. Oh, that's a beauty. That was just inside edge of the line. Ten, six. Super. Service over, 7, 10. Well, the run of points comes to an end. Uh, four straight points has put her in a commanding position in this opening game at the moment. Time to see Nicely taken. From Short you won. Eight, ten. Rally. 
point. That's likely. Yeah. That's a misjudgment of Tai Sun Ying. That's exactly as you said, Jill. You've, you've seen many other players challenge that to yeah. sort of get confirmed, but she realizes that she's made a mistake. Yeah. She just gets on with it. Cross-court drive, clear, and she goes to the mid-game interval. Tai Su Ying with a two-point advantage. Just nine minutes played. He he put the center center. But if อ่าฮะเพราะฉะนั้นหมิวเอาฮอกเอาเขาวิ่งให้ได้ก่อนนะเขาวิ่งเราวิ่งเขาไม่มีอะไรนะแต่สิ่งที่เวลาเขายืน
Service over. 17, 13. No, nobody more disappointed than Chocha Wong herself on that service error. Well, that's one of the outrageous shots that she tried, <laughs> isn't it? I thought it was going to go over. Taking it so late. And it wasn't that far away either. Seventeen. Only two points in it now. Oh, that's just wonderful. When she comes forward, she's addressing the shuttle 18, from above. 15. There's the first one. Look for the second one and look at the racket head, how it just turns at that last moment to belay it straight down the backhand side of Chochu Wong. That's beautiful skill. Yeah, and that's well left. Yeah. It starts well Start inside the, the line, I can tell you. 16, 18. Tai Su Ying's coach, Lai Chien Cheng. Service fault oh, called. Oh, service too high. fault called too high. My goodness. 16. Service judge Robertson Martins from Belgium. Virtually impossible for us to tell. Yeah. Well, wasn't it Chuchuan who once posted a forehand oh, long yes. serve on social media? That, that way was, uh, was ridiculous. Yeah, she was so low on the serve and yet it was called too high. Service over. 17-19. This is a big point. Oh, that's... She swathes the body shuttle one way, summer. hits the shuttle the other. Yeah. 20, game point, 17. Just can't tell where the shuttle's going to go. Such an array of shots. It's wonderful. Three game point opportunities. That's well saved. Very well saved. Service by summer. Chochu Wong. 18, 20. Opening game, 21-18 in favour of Tai Su Ying. Well, she was made to work hard for it. <laughs> 17 minutes for that opening game.
สองพอมีละเอียดหนึ่งสองสามไม่ให้ตีหนึ่งแล้วหยุดสังเกตไหมพอมีหนึ่งลูกสองเหมือนเขาต้องถูกต้องถูกต้องต้องหน้าตลอดเพราะนั้นหมิวตีหนึ่งอย่าหยุดจังหวะต้องต่อเนื่องสองละเอียดเข้าใจไหมอ่ะให้เขาออกลูกมาเราเราจ้องโอเคไหมอ่าเหมือนแบบพอเขาพอเขาเสียหลักเราแบบยังไม่ขอเนื้อเขาตึงอ่าเพราะนั้นหมิวเอาละเอียดก่อนค่อยๆใช้ความละเอียดเข้าสู่นะโอเคนะเขาไทซูยิงจะเรียนให้เห็นว่าคอร์ตควรจะเป็นมากมอบจะลุกขึ้นมาฟาวเลย์ก่อนที่จะเริ่มการเล่นในครั้งแรกของการเล่นครั้งแรกว้าวเปลี่ยนสองเกมต่อไปของสหภาพโลกแชมป์ยูโรแชมป์ยูโรไทซูยิง Against Pom Pui Chochuan. Well taken. Now, of course, Steen, neither you or I could understand either of the coaches in that two minute timeout. So I'm interested. What would you have said to Chochuan to try and turn this match around? Yeah, I, I think I would have um, taken some from the men's singles that we've seen that. She needs to put pressure on Tai Shi Ying from that part of the court there. She needs to, uh, if not attack, then have uh, a lot of fast-paced shots or alternatively deceptions because that also makes the opponent, in this case Tai Shi Ying, arrive a little bit later to the shots and hopefully um, Tai would be unable to get the right accuracy on her shots, especially to the back line. Service over. Two, one. That's a great return of serve, isn't it? Another wonderful example of her deception. And the Service over. Troublesome part Two. for it, oh. of it for for Pompey is that. Um, This is a good rally. Good intensity. Yeah. Yeah. Well brilliant. And we also see some of the problems with that um, approach is that it's really, really hard to to put Ty under pressure all the time because she's got so many um, shots to choose from. So she can she can um, break out of that pressure, and sometimes she even um, takes it before. Chu Chu Wong has a chance to uh, make a, a good shot in the rally. That's why it's so important to uh, play good service returns to have variation on the serve. Oh, it's all about coming back in with the sideways drift. Well wide. Four all.
That's a good cross court clear. Another one lands in. Service over. Five, four. That's a clear example, Six, those last two four. rallies in the lengthways drift. Tai Su Ying shot staying in at the far side of the court and Paul Poi's punch clear going long. Yeah, so most of the shots Service that you over. put tie under pressure has Five, to be downward Six. shots of some kind or flat, fast-paced shots. That's also uh, opening up some uh, counter-attacking opportunities for Ty. Mistake. Six all. One of only two players from Chinese Taipei to win medals at World Championships in women's singles discipline, Tai Su Ying. And uh, like Service the over. first player to achieve Seven, two medals, uh, a silver and a bronze, Chen Xiao Xie. Wow, I totally forgotten that. 2005 bronze in Anaheim, Service and then 2011 over. silver, Seven, she lost oh. to Wang Yi Han. Makes it look so easy, Sorry, doesn't she? A change in the pace seven. to the backhand block. I can assure you, was not that easy. That's a super shot. Service over. Eight. Oh. Service over. Nine, eight. Service over. Hasn't really found the rhythm yet this match, has it? No. Over. And that um, Ten, backhand nine. corner. <laughs> Super. 11, nine, Took it early. Eight. The hold and push straight down the line for the outright winner is looking to come forward, Tai Su Ying, and look at the poise and balance as she played that shot. So 
here at the mid-game interval, the exact same scoreline as she had in the opening game, which she went on to win. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Seven, nine. Play. So 11-9, the advantage in the second game, having already won the first. Tai Su Ying. Oh, yes. yes. Now she increased Sorry, her pace of movement there, didn't yeah. she? Yeah. Pong Pui. Struggling con to control Sorry, her Sarah. pushes and lifts, so poor yeah. Pui Cho Chua, yeah. isn't she? Ten. She's made four mistakes, four outright points to Tai Su Ying. With hitting long of the back line. Hitting long on that particular corner. Yeah. Service over, 11-12. It's a strange atmosphere. It's also like the audience are not really in this match either. It seems like they're just waiting for Antonsen to go on and so on. Yeah. So. Missed it. It's a back level, 12, 12 all. Oh. Yeah. Isn't that a super shot? Service over. I think she had it back to where she played it, actually. I think she played it backwards. Almost. Such disguise, such skill. Good lift. Great play. When when Pompey is attacking and and Tasha Ying is just blocking it in the defense, then blocking back at the net, that that simply um, uh, sort of uh, sets it back to even the rally. She loses all initiative on that shot, so she needs to be able to do more. I know she can't push it, but she needs to put a deception on it. She needs to have variation on it. Otherwise, it becomes too easy for uh, Tai Su Ying to neutralize the attack. This one she missed. 15, 12. Goodness gracious. Service over. I think she was 13, trying an Aaron Chart. Scorpion shot uh, there. That's perhaps the only shot she can't make because that's copyrighted. <laughs> Fifteen. 
beautiful. Yeah. The follow-up here from Ty, that she has a tiny little deception on, but that's enough. Look at this now. See there, there's a little wiggle of the racket head, and that's enough. Before she plays the shot. Before she played the shot. Yeah. Challenge here from Chu Wong. In. Here we go. What a line. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. 17-14. Play. Good rally. Better intensity. Oh, indecision from Cho Chu Wong. 18 14. Yeah, you can't leave it that late. Two points away 19, from an eighth quarter final in her eighth world championship, Tai Su Ying. Oh, that's amazing. Well, she's not done it yet. And this feels she's been a little bit sharper, had a little bit better touch. Felt yeah. caught a little bit better than her opponent. Yeah, I agree. Well, it was called in. Called in. That was mighty close. Yeah. She was shaking her head a little bit when looking at her coach, Tai Su Ying, there. So she's not certain. Challenge yeah. unsuccessful. Well done, line judge. One challenge remaining. Service over. Well, 15, last chance. 19. For Pong Pui Cho Chuang. Play. Really has to have a little run of points here. And that'll certainly help. 16. Gosh, 19. she took that early. Watch where she plays this net shot from. Look at that tumble she creates as well. This is a good start. 17-19. Three straight points. She was trying to take it early. She was trying to do the right thing. Match point 17. But in making that error on the backhand at the net, she has gifted her opponent three opportunities to close out the match and book her place in the quarterfinal of the World Championships for an eighth time. And she only needed the one. 21-17 in the second game. Having won the first 21-18, Tai Su Ying. An extraordinary record 
of consistency in world championships. Eighth world championship, eighth time into the quarterfinal. Match but of course, she is on her quest to add the gold medal to her silver and bronze that she has already got in the trophy cabinet. Uh, that was a poor return of serve from Pompoi Chochuwong. So just under 40 minutes for the victory. And Tai Su Ying into the quarterfinal, beating Pompoi Chochuwong. 21-18, 21-17 in a match lasting 39 minutes. Well, one more match to come, and we're back to men's singles. And it is the two-time medalist, Anna's Antonsen, the European champion from 2021, up against the 2022 Asian champion, Ali Sijar of Malaysia. Welcome back to the Royal Arena here in Copenhagen. Ten past nine in the evening, it's dark outside, but my goodness me, we're seeing some bright and wonderful badminton. One more match to come, and it's men's singles and two former world number twos. Anna's Antonsen of Denmark, a two-time medalist at World Championship, up against Lise Ja of Malaysia. Well, this match is from the bottom half of the draw. And uh, this is the last match to be completed in the bottom half. Sheen Chi, the silver medalist from the 2018 World Championships. He's come through a thriller against Unkar Long. Kodai Naraoka, he had an easier journey through to the quarter 